wear a hat, sometimes play chess. And when I'm out, did you miss boots? Good evening, everybody. We just got home from the mountains. We got home a few hours ago. One of my contacts is all fogged up. I don't know what's going on with it. And my face looks a little sunburnt. My lips are also chapped. It's like my face got all chapped and red and my eyeballs doing something crazy. <laughs> it was a fun trip though. So it's about 7.30 now. We haven't had supper yet. When we first got, we got home, I think it was like almost five or something. I know it was after four, about 4.30 or so. Titus and the boys went to feed cows. I started some laundry. Kids watched a movie. I mean, it was like go, go, go these past two days. Jonah got this hamster. They have lots of souvenirs. Jonah got this hamster that runs in a little ball. You want to see it? Manly wants to see it. Oh, he thinks that's hurting it, Jonah. Jonah's picking it up with the claw arm and he thinks it's hurting it. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I only got a couple of things this time. I got a cup, which is, I left it in the van. It's still in the van. A cup and, oh, a hot chocolate bomb. I do have that. This, I got it from Cracker Barrel when we ate there. So it's a hot cocoa bomb. It's pumpkin spice flavored white chocolate filled with marshmallows. So yeah, back to supper. I was very tempted just to get something, but we've been eating out, you know, since we left yesterday, we've been eating from different places. We're ready to have something at home. So it's gonna be a fine what you want night. I think most people want soup and grilled cheese sandwiches or soup and some kind of sandwich. I don't know why my face looks sunburned y'all and nobody else's, I mean, I did a lot of standing, like they would do go-karts. I don't really love the go-karts. I mean, I haven't done them in years, but I would stand there and wait on them. And Manly Stroller, of course, had the little thing over it. So maybe that's why I got a little sunburn and he didn't because he was under the shade, you know. So we have this soup that we got from Aldi, tomato and sweet basil baked potato with bacon. I'm just gonna get these different soups out and people can pick what they want. I'm gonna make a big pot, I think, of just tomato soup though. Broccoli and cheddar. I'm looking to see if I have any little grape tomatoes. I don't have any big ones. We already used all those. We tried to use up all of our fresh produce before we left, so it wouldn't be bad when we got home. No tomatoes, man. We got these little peppers. We might wanna eat some of these with our grilled cheese sandwiches. You gonna bring the orange juice? Okay. I do believe we are all gonna sleep good tonight. Thank you. Thank you. You want some juice? Uh -huh. Okay. Manly left his favorite cup in the van and he has a favorite right now. And there's a spider there. Oh my goodness, I'm coming out here to get it. We have got to clean this van tomorrow. Anytime after a trip, it is crazy. Found it. Meal. Yeah, we're going to get meal. I thought you wanted juice. Good. Okay. Do you want milk or juice? Good. Okay. Let me wash it out. I'll get you some juice. Is it good? It was a really fun trip. We really wanted to stay one more night. Maybe when they put the Christmas lights up. Mommy! Yeah, that's your he. I think he really missed his little horse. Sissy's in her room right now, playing with her stuff that she got. So yeah, I was gonna put some tomatoes in this tomato soup. It just makes it a little more, you know, chunky, tomato-y, <laughs> but we're out. So we're just gonna have it like this. I do put a little bit of salt and pepper. I should have got my stuff out while, well, my cup, but there's something, there's a couple of other things I think still in the bag. It's not a coffee cup, surprised. Me too, I did look for a coffee cup, but they didn't have one that I wanted this stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna make the grilled cheese sandwiches on this griddle because I can make a lot of them faster. I think I only need three. I'm just gonna go ahead and do four though in case anybody changes their mind. I ask everybody and only three people wanted one.
y'all. I got Manly to bed. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and unpack. I already unpacked one of the, the Titus's and Jonah's duffel bag. It didn't have much in it. This one's mine and Cece's and Manly's. It has a lot more to unpack than theirs did. Oh, here's Cece's llama. I always take extra clothes, so all of these are still clean. Okay, let's see. Let's see this part. I think that's all. I don't think I put anything in here. Let me check. I really love these duffel bags. I know I told y'all about them yesterday. I really love them, especially this part where you can keep all of your, you know, anything that could spill or anything like that. Or if you get, you know, wet. You could even use this for the dirty clothes part because it's, you know, made out of the stuff kind of like a wet bag. Yeah, I packed fast this time, so I was just throwing stuff in here. I think so far, these are my favorite Aldi finds. They were only $19.99. <laughs> Are you driving your farm truck? He took the little dump truck part off of it so that he could sit on it and roll it and ride it like he does his horsey. I'm riding the car. You're riding the car, okay. I've got your dolphin folder over here, Cece, with your worksheets in it. Everybody's getting started on their schoolwork now. I love this Lisa Frank folder, oh my goodness. This morning was a cereal, oatmeal, yogurt, fruit, whatever you want for breakfast morning. I was sleepy. So I slept a little later this morning than normal and I didn't have time to make a big breakfast. I was gonna make some sausage biscuits or pumpkin spice French toast. I was trying to decide between those two last night, but then this morning, my sleepiness decided that it would be a cereal oatmeal fruit day. But supper is gonna be good, y'all. It's gonna be good. I had to start the dryer back up because those clothes were not quite ready yet. I turned that light on because it's cloudy out there. It is really dark in here when it's cloudy outside. There are so many trees around, you know? If we turned all the lights off and closed the blinds, it almost looks like it's, you know, getting dark. I'm about to make myself another cup of coffee real quick. I need a second cup already this morning. Oh, your brand new ones, they're still in the van. Jonah was looking for his new shirts. He got two new shirts at the Western store in the mountains yesterday. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised oh, there's Manly. Okay, Ty. Water went down the wrong pipe. So yeah, Jonah got two shirts at the Western store. He was looking for those, but they're still in the van, y'all. I've not fully unpacked the van. We took out the duffel bags. There's still some more stuff out there. So I'm gonna make me some more coffee and I'm gonna go empty the van out while they're doing their schoolwork. Oh, I have to add water. Don't you just hate that? Don't you just hate it? You like adding the water? Sissy said she likes adding water in here for me. I need to fill up my thing over here too. And do y'all notice something that some people do? Some people who drink McCafe, when they get ready to make their cup, they just put it back over here. Look, I must have been the last one to make some, and then somebody got ready to drink McCafe and put it there. I'm out of pumpkin pie and pecan pie. I guess I'm gonna go with maple this time. Right, Manny? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at these trees. Hardly any leaves left. We're going to get the eggs, right, Manny? I bet we have about 11 eggs. That's what I'm going to guess. 11 eggs. Yeah, we'll see. You think they need some wawa? We'll check them. We got them a big five gallon bucket up here. Well, it's not a bucket, but you know, a five gallon water thing. And I think I can see from here they still have plenty of water in it. I think they want to get out for a little bit. You want to let them out? 
Yeah, they're ready to stretch those legs. Let's see how many eggs we have. One, four, seven, eleven. That's not all. Sixteen. That's how many we have. Look at all the eggs. Yeah, we have sixteen. They've been working hard while we were gone, huh? You trying to catch that one? I think that's Bertha. <laughs> He's not even trying to catch them. He just wants to chase them around. They've already learned. He's going to chase us around for a little bit, and then we can go about our business. It is now time to cook supper. I got the pinto beans in the Instant Pot earlier. I'm defrosting the pork chops right now. And I'm getting the squash ready for squash casserole. So I have three big yellow squash here and I'm just gonna slice them really thin. So once I get the squash ready, then I'm gonna slice up an onion and we're gonna cook them together over here in this big frying pan with some butter. This is one of those recipes that like, I used to not like squash casserole until I made this recipe. Oh, you need me to open your go -gurt. Here you go. Yes. You're welcome. You are so sweet, Manny. I'm going ahead and starting the squash casserole first because it's going to go in the oven after we cook the squash and everything over here. It goes in the oven then for, I think, about 30 minutes. I'm just going by what I remember by heart on this recipe. I haven't even looked at it yet. I think it goes in there for about 20 to 30 minutes. We'll make some cornbread real quick to go in there with that, and then we're going to do the pork chops. cornbread in the oven. I'm dumping the squash and the onions now into this bowl. Now we've already got the salt and pepper in there. You can wait and put the salt and pepper now if you want to wait. I'll just go ahead and put it in there while it's cooking. Now we're going to put in half a cup of sour cream. I have used mayonnaise before one time when I was out of sour cream and it was still really good. I just didn't put as much mayonnaise. I think I put you know just a little less i can't remember for sure but it was still you know still good with mayonnaise now we're putting half a cup of parmesan cheese i probably put a little more than half a cup of the sour cream and the parmesan cheese i had those were pretty big yellow squash so the last thing we put for now is a cup of shredded sharp cheddar and we're just going to mix all this up pouring in the squash i'm putting just a little bit more of the shredded cheese on top. And then we're gonna crumble up this whole sleeve of townhouse crackers, pretty much just like Ritz crackers, just the townhouse kind. And we're just gonna sprinkle them all over the top. That's it, now this is going in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes just to melt the cheese and brown the crackers on top. All we have left to do is fry some pork chops. <laughs> 